Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. We're back in a set 22 reveals, and we're going over more green stuff. Today, we're covering the Gohan and Goten Brothers archetype out of set 22. This deck, honestly, not as impressive as Green Broly, at least for my first read of these cards. But it's definitely a lot more impressive than like the several past years of green archetypes we've gotten, right? Like, that's for sure. Green is getting a much better treatment than it has in the uh, recent hit past. So that's at least nice to hear. We'll go over his archetype in today's video. We'll see if we can make anything of it. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And if you guys plan on buying any of these cards or any trading cards for that matter, it does help me out if you use my link in the description to TCG player. I just get a small kickback, doesn't cost you anything extra, and it does help me out if you want to do so. I appreciate it, guys, as always. Let's get on into the video, starting with the unawakened side of the leader. Active main once per turn, look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to one green Gohan Adolescence or Goten cards to your hand, then shuffle your deck, awaken, or at least a four or less, or you have two or more energy and you have a family coming in hot emotions delivered in your battle area, draw two cards and add cards to your hand until you have six life left. Then we have the Awakened side, Gohan and Goten Brothers. Auto once per turn when you play a Gohan Adolescence or a Goten card, both green with energy costs of six or more from your hand, draw one card and then activate main once per turn. Play up to one Gohan close call or Goten close call from your hand or drop in rest mode. Now this is really good. We have to make a direct comparison here between this leader and Trunks Jita, which was the first leader of its kind to basically do exactly this. Play one drops in the drop area, those one drops draw cards, which generates your basic uh, once per turn leader draw. And you have another method of drawing another card by evolving. This is basically doing the same thing. Once you evolve into those six costs, you're drawing an additional card. So having a leader that has the uh, potential to draw two cards per turn is really, really good. Activate battle once per turn if you discard one card from your hand during that turn. The next time you activate battle on a Gohan Adolescence or a Goten card, both green with cost of six, from your hand, reduce that skill's skill cost by a green. We'll see what that's relevant for later. But now, one thing I want to point out to you guys, where this leader is just reviving one cost green card from the drop area, there's a really good synergy with Bardock Paternal Unison, which has a plus one that says, choose one of your green battle cards with the cost of one and KO it. If you do, your opponent chooses a card in their hand and discards it. We've been looking forever for ways to just like, revive one drops preferably for zero cost and keep sacrificing them with paternal unison to make our opponent pitch cards now it's built into a leader so that's a really good synergy i can definitely see this unison being a staple of this deck for that reason all right now for the z cards we have family coming in hot emotions delivered one energy one z energy c stack one a green goku the cost of two auto for a green when your green card with both gohan adolescence and goten an energy cost of eight attacks play up to one goku emotions delivered from under this card then activate battle limit one. If your battle card with energy cost of eight or your leader, both green with both Gohan Adolescence and Goten is in a battle and you remove this card from the game, your card that's in a battle gets plus 10,000 power and critical for the turn. So let me simplify this for you guys because I feel like that was kind of like a jumble to read. Basically, if your eight cost boss is in battle or your leader's in battle, you can give it plus 10k and critical by removing this card from the game. Simple as that. Then when you play the Goku Motions Deliver, that is a two energy, one Z energy deflect battle card. Auto limit one for green. When this card's played, choose one of your SS Gohan and SS Goten Emotions Delivered cards and switch to active mode. Then the next auto for another green, if your SS Gohan and SS Goten Emotions Delivered is in a battle and you switch this card to rest mode, when an activate battle skill activates on your family Kamehameha Emotions Delivered, your card that's in a battle gets plus 10k power and triple strike for the battle. Okay, so there's a lot of like effect chaining going on here, but basically what this boils down to is you have the potential to make your boss card a dual attacker. And I guess on that first attack, or I guess you could technically hold off on until the second attack, but on either attack, you can make it a triple strike critical plus 20k between both these cards. But now let's count up how much energy that is because it's actually sneakily quite a bit. So one energy to play family kamehameha then we have one energy to use the auto to play goku motions delivered then one energy to give it the triple strike and then one more energy if you want to go ahead and restand it so that's four total energy for that play not even counting how much energy the boss itself is going to cost so that's that's pretty costly that might be a little bit uh too late in the game uh for what we're trying to do here but let's keep on reading and take a look all right, so we have our Gohan chain. We have Gohan close call. So we have a one cost deflect auto when this card's played, choose one. Either draw a card or play the Goten straight from the deck. Again, very similar to Trunks Jita. 
Then we have Gohan building up power. Four cost 15k deflect. EX evolve for a green over the Gohan one cost. When this card's played, switch card to active mode. Look at top five cards of your deck. Add up to one green Gohan adolescence or go 10 to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Then activate main. Limit one for a green. Play one Gohan. Release power from your hand on top of this card in active mode. Okay, a few things here. Um, a one cost 15k. Definitely kind of weak. Uh, I do like the fact that it replaces itself though. It seems like this deck might draw a really big hand size, which is definitely not bad. Now, the other thing here is this might be somewhat of an aggressive green deck because you evolve building up power that goes in active mode and then you uh, pay the, the one for the activate main to go into release power, which will also come in active mode. So this might be somewhat of an aggressive green deck. Let's read Gohan release power. Six cost 20k when this card's played. Remove two markers from a unison. Auto, if you place two cards from this card in your drop. When this card attacks, your opponent discards one card from their hand. Then activate battle limit one, which I believe your leader can reduce to a zero cost if you choose to discard a card. If your green go on adolescence with energy cost of four is attacking, play this card from your hand on top of the attacking card, and this card gains critical for the turn. So that effect, I gotta be honest, I'm not super in love with for a few reasons. So if you choose to do this, you're missing out on one extra attack, which like you can maybe consider uh, that being made up for by the fact that this thing will be a critical attack. So that's not too bad. But if you do this sort of like mid attack evolve, you lose out on that second auto of making your opponent discard a card. So uh, I don't know, this effect is very weird. It's like if you wanna be sneaky and get a critical in there, you can, but it's like kind of costly on energy for not all that much payoff. So yeah, this one is not totally uh, getting me on board here, but let's go ahead and read the Goten chain. We have Goten close call, either draw a card or play Gohan from the deck. Then we have four drop Goten and building up power. Deflect EX of all for one over the one cost. Auto when this card's played, switch this card to active mode. Look at the top five, add a green Gohan adolescence or Goten to your hand. So again, replacing itself, not too bad. Active main limit one for a green, play one Goten, release power from your hand, top of this card in active mode. Goten release power, six drop 20k, active battle limit one. If your green go 10 with the cost of four is attacking, play this card from your hand on top of the attacking card, and this card gains double strike for the battle. Now, this one I could see being a little bit better because it is double strike. So this can sort of like be that double strike out of nowhere if you want it to be and like end games or kill a unison. That's not too bad. Activate battle, place two cards from this card in your drop, choose one of your cards and gets plus 5k for the turn. That's kind of neat on defense. That's actually a sense of being for your leader. That's not too bad. And if you have a offensive battle card that is maybe attacking twice or like any of these chains of battle cards, actually, like if you go into the go 10 chain first and then choose to give a Gohan plus 5k for the turn, each time it evolves and gets to restand and attack again, it's going to carry over that 5k. So that's actually kind of cool. The go 10 chain is neat. The Gohan chain, I don't know. It, it might be a little bit costly if you want to get the full value out of it and not lose too much from your hand. All right, now we have our SR boss cards. We have Gohan and Goten battle ready. So don't forget that our leader draws a card when we play a six cost Gohan or Goten. This counts as both. So obviously this will be a key staple of the deck to generate draws. We have deflect 20K when this card's played. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Activate battle if your Gohan Adolescence or Goten card, both green with cost of four is attacking. Play this card from hand on top of the attacking card, then draw one card. All right, this is a little bit cooler. So I like the fact that it comes in and draws a card because that can mitigate the fact that you're pitching a card to make this effect free, or you can just go ahead and pay the energy and get the extra draws. If you, if you pay all the energy for all the effects in this deck, you, I think you'll draw like a really massive hand. You can of course discard cards to make uh, this activate battle of all effect free. So it kind of depends on the game state, but it is an option. That's kind of cool. Uh, then we have Gohan and Goten Emotions Delivered. This is the big boss card that our Z extra card and our Z battle card Goku are able to give triple strike and critical and 20k. So this will be a total of 50k after it's all said and done. So we have eight drop, auto this card attacks, choose one of your opponent's unisons and remove two markers from it. Auto once per turn when your green sand card deals damage to your opponent, choose one. You can either choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it, or make your opponent discard one card from their hand. Activate limit one for a green. If your leader is green, your opponent has three or more energy and you have a Z extra in your battle area, play this card from your hand. Okay, so in general, maybe a little bit underwhelming at first glance it's kind of insane this is a one cost 30k but you have to have a z extra in place so you have to invest that one energy into the z extra so this is basically a two cost 30k when you think about it like that and it's so funny there's so many effects in set 22 that are like this 
that uh, either are free or very cheap, but are only playable if you have the other thing in play that you know required you to invest energy. It's a very interesting thing they're doing with this set. But yeah, overall, I don't know. This this archetype seems cool. I think it can draw a lot of cards, and luckily there are a lot of really good mono green sand cards that are just you know generically playable in a deck like this. We're seeing that a ton with like green Gohan in the current format, right? So it's not the end of the world. Again, I do think this is a little bit less great than green Broly. That deck's actually very impressive upon first glance, but I don't know. I wonder in the comments what you guys think about this archetype though. Have you guys like figured it out? Have you cracked the code? Is this deck broken with Bardock Eternal Unison? That might be a really interesting thing. That might be the main angle to play this deck, but time will tell of course, guys. If you have any thoughts, drop them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.